Hey everybody, welcome back to Veteran Bass and today we're going to be talking about my top baits for the month of January and I might throw in an extra one. Stay tuned. So, like most of the country, January and depending on where you are, January or February is the coldest time of the month. Here in January, well here in Georgia, sorry about that. We are still pretty daggum warm right now as we speak. Um, as a matter of fact, it doesn't even feel like winter. It's crazy how we are in probably the low 70s right now. So I'm guessing for, for us, it's gonna be February that's gonna be the coldest month. But for all of you out there whose coldest month is January, let's get into it. So, I can't get out there to get it, and there's a couple of baits that I have in the tackle shed. I brought, you know what I'm saying, some gear out here so that I'm able to talk to you guys while I'm healing through the surgery. So, the first bait that I'm going to recommend, and mind you, this is not about going out catching the biggest bass. This is about building confidence, something that I got confidence in, that I know that I can go to any lake and I can catch fish. So, my first one again is the A-Rig or the Alabama Rig. Now, right off the bat, check your regulations because unlike here in Georgia, other states do not let you use all five hooks on the um, Alabama Rig. Some states allow only two, some states allow three. Luckily for Georgia, we can use all five. So, check that before you go. Now, it is, you still, with the Alabama rig, you can go as aggressive or as subtle as you want. Now, mind you, the fish are still lethargic because we're in the winter. So, you still will be doing... Oh, sorry about that. Lashing my eye. But you still will be doing the wide, uh, ride twitches or the reel pumps. You will be doing that. You know, so be mindful of that. I got my notes over here so that you know what I'm saying I know where I'm at. And I almost forgot one thing. <laughs> so here's the thing with that. There are two options with the Alabama rig. You have a bladed option and you have a non-bladed option. Now, when the visibility of the water is four feet or more, go with a non non-bladed option. You know, it's winter, you need to be kind of downsized for this. Nothing too flashy. Now, if it's four and below uh, visibility, then you throw on your bladed option. Number two would be the crankbait. Y'all seen me with the crankbait uh, this past year, and I was destroying them. Now, in the winter time, we're talking more speed cranking. Now, I've done a video on speed cranking, so you can actually go back and check that out, but you want to uh, speed crank this time of year. I know it doesn't sound, um, it doesn't match what most people say about when a fish because they're lethargic. But if you can tap into the core feed response of a bass, you can get reaction bites. That's all it takes. So we're not just talking about crank, we're doing speed cranking. I've talked about it plenty of times where you bomb it out there, you burn, 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 pause, burn, pause, burn, 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 pause. That's all you need to do. And you fish this along uh, peat gravel, any kind of rock, um, so that it can deflect good off of any kind of wood. Most cover, you're, you're set, you're golden. Now, the next one, and I'm trying to make this video a little quick, is a blade bait. Now, you've seen where I've taken a um, Strike King Red Eye Shad and I've used it like a blade bait. The only thing you really have to do is lift up to where you start to feel that bait flutter and then let it pendulum back down. You don't drop your rod, lift it up till you feel it flutter, let it pendulum back to you, take up your slime, do the same thing. 
Now, I'm not going to talk about the baits that I use personally. Um, I'm not sponsored by anybody. So, uh, I'm just giving you the style of bait. And then I'll let you go out and dis and experiment yourself. That was a rig, crankbait, blade bait. Fourth thing, some type of finesse swim bait. Now that I do have, and I did have the I do have the crankbait. Um, the crankbait. I don't know how well you can see that this light. But it is a shad pattern. Speed crank. Speed this. Speed it down. Okay. Swim bait. All right. Doo -doo -doo. And more specifically, swim bait heads. Now, there are two options with this. Same as the A rig. You could go with. Swim bait head with a little bit of flash and or you can go with no flash for your swim baits. I generally like to go with a 2.8 Kitek for my finesse. 2.8 Kitek, if I remember, yes, I wrote that down. 2.8 Kitek. Um, it's basically the same as the Alabama rig. You're gonna throw it out there, ride a couple of ride twitches or real pumps, you know what I'm saying, to kind of get that reaction bite. If the water is four plus feet of visibility, then you go without that flash. Less than that, you go with the flash. You got that? All right, cool. Now, the last one or two, I'm going to give two because um, it depends on the situation. It's going to be a drop shot or a net rig. Now, for a drop shot, if you're fishing the bait ball, you want to get that bait down fast and you can actually fish it pretty much high as you want to off the bottom, um, depending on your leader. You get what I'm saying? Let your leader fall, hit the bottom, you lift up, and you pretty much hold it there. You don't want to do a lot of rod twitches. Remember, it's cold, they're supposed to be lethargic. You just kind of want to hold it there and let the water current do everything for you and let the fish load up on it, get ready for the fight. Now, if you're not fishing bait balls and you are truly where well, if you're not video game fishing and you're truly casting and fishing, then I would go with the net rig. And whoops, <laughs> like my last video on the net rig is again, if you have good visibility, then you want to go with a solid uh, net rig. I suggest uh, the Z-Man Elastic. I'm just dropping everything today. But if there's less than four feet of visibility, you want something with a little rattle. And that, I don't know if you could have heard that. That is the um, Guggen Squad Rattling Ned. Believe you me, it works, especially when the water's good and dingy, and it helps to um, for the fish to locate it. So, I, I actually kind of fell in love with these um, here in these winter months when I was able to fish. <laughs> so, so there in a nutshell is my baits for January and uh I would like to say hey if you learned anything new get at your boy and don't forget to subscribe like and hit that notification bell and comment on anything else you would like to see get out there put it to them